is forecast for the next three or four days so it's really important that I get this water butt emptied and these new much larger water butts back in place on here got some guttering as well that I need to finish at the minute I've only got it going round there can't determine it's there so I need to continue all the way down this side so we can catch as much of the rain as possible water storage is one of the biggest problems on the plot and I'm actually going to use these uh, smaller slimline butts I'm going to put a, a, a frame in here and set the water butt up on that we have one there and one there just so we've got uh, water on the plot and then getting the water uh, into there I shall collect it from both the sheds and the water butts that are going to be on there pump the water into these and I've got accessible water in this area for, for doing all these beds here and the uh, new ones that have got to go in here the uh, slabs that I want to use here aren't quite wide enough the, the gap is 20 um, inches across between beam to beam the pavement slabs are only about 18 but hopefully that should be enough support uh, to support the weight of the water it's only a slim line but so it's not so heavy I can fit the watering can underneath fine so I've just got to screw it all down there so just transferring some water from this slim line but here um, on the tool shed into these containers I'm going to put it into the two water butts down the bottom just to give it a bit of weight so they don't move anywhere there's now eight gallons of water gone into this um, water butt transferred from the other end of the plot where the water is collected from the shed should be enough weight there to uh, support the structure just hoping that once this is full the weight it's not going to crack the slab because I have only got the two supports there I might just put a third one in the middle as a fail a sort of a fail safe so there's all the water drained from this slimline water butt that was here and that's going to be used at the bottom of the garden when I put the as a garden I mean a lot <laughs> when the other two water barrels are there just to wet them down so there are three barrels down there uh, all with water storage continuing on the water butt build we're going to do the same as what we've done here in this gap here and in that gap here giving us three water butts at the bottom of the uh, allotment section here and that should serve all these raised beds and the raised beds that will be going in here and here on the uh, third water butt base I'll have to raise it up in these two corners because this bed here is a little bit higher than the others just to make that level so I'm going to get the third water butt set on here and then get them filled up now I'm going to get these containers emptied and fill the two end water butts up remember I already filled this one half through the middle just installing the 200 litre water butts here that I recently paid £10 each for someone on Facebook I'm just modifying all the gutting bit here so the down pipe goes straight in there this is the lid that came in it's a little bit savage I'm actually just going to cut this further back so the pipe sits in here this down pipe here that way I catch 100% of the rain rather than using these Gutting attachments here where the overflow sort of flows out. I doubt I'll have any overflow because I should be pumping whatever water is collected here into containers and other butts around the site. The hole cut out there now. I'm just going to get the lid fitted on here. Now, because we are on a wind step site, a wind step site, should I say, I've just put some screws through the base here. 
just until there's water in the boat. If we get any winds before we get some water in there, it won't blow off of its stand. This side, the gutterings are complete. The back's done. Now this side, I had the uh, right length of pipe to go across, but I didn't have enough of these clips, but I did have a spare joiner. So I kind of had to put that in the middle, cut the pipe into two pieces. But we're getting there. So that's the uh, water butts uh, now all installed. And the same as this one here, I've just put some screws on the side in the base to, to give that some support. Gatton's done all the way around. The only one thing I have got to do is, is bring some tubing up to take from that along here to the other button in the other side. That's the overspill, so when this one's full, it'll run into that one. Um, because this uh, butt here is slightly higher than this one, I wanted to use this butt here. I could have used it the other way around so that was high and the water ran down. But this one had the damaged lid where this one didn't. I didn't want to hack into that. So I'd rather just drill a new hole sort of this far down here so there'll be enough water for the water obviously to go down and flow into the other water butt and that will solve that solution. Now these are the lids for these slimline butts here. But as you're aware they're not connected to any water source or anything like that. Apart from what we're going to be pumping in there from the uh, butts up the top. But I do want to conserve as much water as possible so I come up with the idea. These lids here have got rubber bungs in. I've just knocked the rubber bung out on this one, as you can see, and that one I haven't done yet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit the water back like that. If any rain, water comes down, sits in here, runs down the hole and into the back. I've just got to find a way of keeping this lid on here now. I don't know whether I could fill this with stones. Um, it's probably the best idea and then the water will filter through the stones it'll stop any muck going through there and then the water will still soak away into there i think that'll probably be the best way so let's do that aren't decorative stones these are just stones where I've rotivated the plot and left the plot the rainwater's gone washed all the loose soil off the top and left all the stones exposed on the surface so these are just the stones that have been salvaged from the plot and I don't think that's going to go anywhere so that once I've done the same to those two, that's the water bod project for the water back complete. I'm Gary from GMB Allotment Vlogs. If you haven't yet checked out our new website, head over to www.allotmentguide.com. You can subscribe to that and uh, join the forums, join in the discussion, get information, contribute information and much much more if you haven't yet uh, subscribed please do subscribe hit that uh, bell so you're notified of all the videos that I've got coming up and there's quite a few videos and um, may have lacked a few over the last few weeks but the contents there ready to be edited processed and uploaded until next time see you later